Hello guys, the Doctor Who here, and today I am not in the Quirkstone world, I'm in a completely different world. I call it my... why, why are the villagers? Uh, I call this my minecart test world, and lately I have been super interested in minecarts, so I thought I would show you guys a really good way to send minecarts once if you're doing a system like... Say, so you've got this minecart, and it's a chest minecart, and it comes up, and it's full of stuff, and because it was empty, it, it went right by it, but um, if it was full, so if we put this stuff into it, come on, get all in here. I don't know how to do that click. I have to remember how to do that. There was a point when I could do the click, and then everything would go in, and, but I just forgot it now. And now it stays, because I put things in it, and that will empty into this chest, but that's a trap chest, so there's the stupid glitch. Um, I was working on a way to do a very pretty loading system too, but I ran into a horrible minecart glitch where actually if a minecart is like this, how it is now, um, not on a powered rail, I realized that would block a hopper, but um, a hopper actually does not suck items out of a minecart if it is on a rail like this. So, oh, what are you doing? Contraption, stop it. So, that was unfortunate. This is a whole different setup that's trying to do something completely different. But, I'm going to show you guys this very useful way to get items out of your system. Because I'm sure most of you will do something similar to that. You won't want the fancy way that I was working on to do the other thing. Now, this um, is not created by me. It was created by somebody else. Um, it's fairly, it's used fairly often, but just in case... You don't know it already. I thought I would just show a little showcase. Also, I might do a quick stun on this clock. Let me know what you guys think of that. That is a clock that can time up to 132 minutes, I think. It's it's a ton. Um, so, very cool indeed. Uh, let's see. Boop, boop, right? Yeah. Building this from this thing just because it is not my invention once again. So, I'm just kind of copying from what I already learned. Okay, I'm going to just put that there for now. You should have that point into a chest or whatever it is that you would use. And sorry if my voice sounds a little funny or funky or whatever. It's been a long day and, you know, I wanted to get this video out for you guys. And I really wanted to finish, I wanted to make a complete minecart system thing with loading and unloading. But that stupid glitch, man. I have to report that because I haven't seen it reported yet, but... Horribly annoying. Very annoying, actually. Okay, let's get up here. Uh, 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 okay, I'm up, I'm up. And you shift right click to place rail on a hopper. And there you go. So you would have this would all of a sudden work. And the way this works is basically um, uh, this needs to be a powered rail. I did not demonstrate that very well whatsoever, did I? Okay, um, like that. Like that. Get rid of that. This needs to be power rail. Okay, so the way this works is you got your minecart here, it gets shot off. But if it's got stuff in it, it does not get shot off because this comparator will sense that there are blocks traveling in this hopper. Note, if you want this to work, you're, you need to have a chest. Um, let's see, where chest? Chest, come here. It's been a long day, sorry guys. Okay. Oh my god, chest. There. Bam, bam, chicken, bam. Okay, so you shift click like that. You would need to have a chest right here. This hopper should be facing into it. And um, the reason for that is just because items need to be traveling in this hopper in order for this to work. So if you did a hopper chain right off of this, it would not work. So keep that in mind. You need a chest right here, then you could hopper it off and however you'd like to do it, blah, 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 blah. Off to wherever you'd like, to your storage room or whatever. But you need the chest right here or it will not work. So keep that in mind. So what happens is items traveling in here, comparator senses that, it turns his torch off, which unpowers this block, which unpowers this guy, which in two would unpower this block, and uh, as you would think, it turns off the powered rail, so the minecart stays until it is completely empty. And then items are no longer traveling in this hopper, so it easily just goes bloop. And if a minecart is on a is on a powered is on a powered rail next to a solid block, and the powered rail receives power, the minecart will go. So right now, if we power this block like magic, okay, come on, come on, we can do it. How can we get rid of here? Oh my god. Come on, come on. 
Oh, just get rid of this thing. There we go. And then it goes like magic. So very cool. I hope this is helpful. I've been very interested in minecart stuff. So if you're interested in that as well, uh, check out my Let's Play. I have a whole bunch of cool ideas that I want to execute with minecarts. I just haven't quite gotten around to it, but I'm going to start designing all of that, which will be quite cool indeed. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of all of this minecart stuff, and if you'd like to see more quickstones on this or not. Anyways, guys, have a nice day, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!